it's Christine with Coco Daisy and today I'm going to share with you my September setup uh, using the Doodles and Dashes collection and I I've said it during the unboxing and I'm going to say it even more now because I've had a chance to play with everything this is one of my absolute favorite kits I went a little crazy with rub-ons and all kinds of fun stuff that was in the collection in my setup and I hope you walk away with some ideas, some inspiration, and I hope you're loving the kit as much as I am. I am so excited to share with you what I've done with September. As I mentioned, it is one of my absolute, I, the more I worked with it, the more I loved it. And I kind of kept going and adding. And in fact, I'm already using um, September. So <laughs> I've already dug in. And uh, what I did is I ended up grabbing two sets of the uh, the inserts so that I could start early <laughs> and use it um, already here in part of August because I just so excited to dig in with this. So um, I am using my uh, planner is from uh, Vanderspeck and this one I've had for a little while. I ordered it a while back, um, and I hadn't I hadn't really found the right kit or colors to use it with. It's this beautiful kind of a taupey gray, and it's more of a suede. And it absolutely, I think it goes perfect with um, with this month's kit. There's so many different directions you could take as far as um, planner or covers, tea and covers or whatever that you want to use. Um, but a black would be beautiful. White would be beautiful. Any of the colors in here. So you can go neutral or you can go bright. Um, you can focus on one of the colors. Mint would be beautiful as well. But I went with this one and I'm really happy with it. So again, that is a Vanderspeck. I like the Vanderspecks um, simply because you can get the larger rings and you can customize the, um, the interior color and the out in exterior color as well as the stitching and everything. So I love that about them. And uh, let's dig in with the with my pockets. And if you're familiar with any of my videos, I always kind of set them up with a couple of uh, tags that I make from um, some of the three by four cards. This one was from the planner add-on. This one was from the modern memory keeping kit, the one of the pocket cards. I've got some of the puffy stickers, which I absolutely love these. I turned a couple of them into clips and then a couple I just adhered right on there. Um, this clip was from the, I believe the main planner kit and then the bow. I love the little notepad this month and then some of the die cuts. Uh, the pen, This mechanical pencil, and I think we have some in the store yet, was from uh, January, from the January kit. And I thought, well, it goes perfect. So that is a mechanical pencil. And I do believe we have some of those in the store. And then you'll see I used some of the cute little quote note cards uh, from the last couple months this summer. I thought they went really cute and I just added them in in a couple of places. So make sure you look through your stash because there's things that you can incorporate in, um, in, in the uh, next months as well. And then one of the things I wanted to mention, so some of these are die cuts from the die cut packs. And then there's um, a few that I cut out from the printables. We made a change with our printables. Um, our printables are now free. If you, There's a certain um, number of kits. If you subscribe to one of those uh, specific kits, I believe they're, um, and they're, they're all listed in the FAQs. If you subscribe to one of um, the listed kits, you get the printables for free. If you do not subscribe, then um, they are available in the store, but they are no longer free to everyone. I believe they're about $4.99 for, um, it's generally 10 to 12 pages each month. So it's a little different on uh, the printables. I wanted to mention that, but you'll see where I did do some fussy cutting with those as well. I used some more of the little puffy stickers on the front just one single one on the back here and then a couple of the little glitter dots. And then this page is just kind of a fun page I made using a piece of heavy acrylic. If I, I'm gonna check in the store and see if we still have some. If we don't, I'll order more and get more in. The nice thing, these come in 12 by 12 sheets 
and you can cut them down to whatever size you want and just use a, a good, um, like a crocodile hole punch and you can punch the, um, the holes out if you use the rings. So I just made this fun, uh, heavy duty kind of clear divider page. I have a couple of cute pictures in there and a couple of the note cards. And then I added a rub on to that one. So it's just a fun way to add another layer and some pictures, which is always nice to have in your planner. I used the overlay and this was part of the classified planner. And then as I mentioned, I added some um, extra weeks, days in here so that I could start now. But I wanted to show you how I decorated all of them. So these pages, what I use, because I don't uh, generally get my memory keeping or my memory planning done um, every week, sometimes I, I don't get it done for a couple weeks. So I like to keep track of the photographs that I take that day so that when I go back to my camera roll in my phone, I know exactly which ones to pull out and print. I don't have to try and figure out what day it was taken, what's the date and look back. So I'll write down my photo for each day um, here. So that's why I have photos here. So I'll write that down. I added some, uh, it's a great way to keep track too. And you could always add a little bit of information too if you wanted to, uh, but we wanted to record for that day. This is a great uh, sheet for that as well. So I added some stickers, some rub-ons. There's a few more rub-ons. One of the things I wanted to mention, uh, let me get to one of those pages. I did it with these little ones, but I wanted to show it to you on one of the larger ones. So you can see there's some more rub-ons. I did some stamping. We have this beautiful stamp set. Um, this was an a la carte stamp set. And if you missed out on it, make sure you sign up for the wait list. We have to have a minimum number to do a reorder. If we reach that minimum number, then I can uh, reorder some more of those. So get on the wait list for that for sure. Okay, so this one. So one of the things I wanted to mention, you can turn your rub-ons into die cuts. So if you're concerned about messing up your page or you want them a little bit more opaque, um, what you can do is just take a piece of scrap white cardstock or paper and then put your rub on on the white paper and then cut around it just fussy cut around it and you can create your own die cuts that's what i did right there some more stickers and rub ons layered some of the die cuts and remember that all of the die cuts are adhesive backed you don't have to use them that way but they are adhesive backed some more stamping. So that was my, those are my weekly stripe pages. And then I may have a little menu card that I flip to. So when I'm working on creating my menu and I'm stumped what to do for dinner, I just kind of laminate, I need to update this. So we've got some more that I wanna add or switch out. Um, so I just laminated a little card that has some of our favorites. Um, it's got, um, on each side, it's printed on each side. Did a little rub on there. But these tags are part of, um, well this, let me back up a minute. This is one of the tags that's included in this set. And these are in the classified memory keeping kit. And I use these tags in a couple spots, but I love these oversized tags. So this one, the rainbow one, I used on the back side with a rub on. And then this is one of the, um, it's either one of the TNM A card, TNMK cards, the Traveler's Notebook cards, or it's one of the, which I think it is, or it's one of the, um, the smaller size dashboards. Either way, I cut that to fit the back of this tag and then just glued them together and added a couple rub-ons. And then that holds that. And it's kind of my kind of a divider too as well. And then the pretty vellum sheet. And that was part of the classified planner. And you can see it has that pretty little bit of rose gold on there that says happy mind, happy life. And then one of the dashboards. And I used that. Um, I just used one of the printables to kind of write out my daily routine. And then I added some stamping and some of the puffy alphas, a few of the little glitter dots on there, 
and then put that on there. And oh, and there's a couple of pieces of little chipboard on there as well. I thought that was pretty. I love the, the bits of black and white in this kit. They're so pretty. And then I do my menu planning. So this is kind of uh, my, my weekly brain dump here where I look at the week and I kind of plan out, I write in appointments and I kind of give myself an overview of what my week is gonna look like. And that kind of helps me schedule what I wanna get done, what day, what's due and so on. And then I plan the menu on there as well. So I did some stamping. Uh, there, you'll see some of the little bird stamps. Those are an older set of stamps that we had. I thought they were just kind of whimsical and they went with the look really well. So I added a few of those in there. Some die cuts. Go to the next one. I love that one particular leaf stamp. It's so pretty. So there you can see I did one of the little birds with the coffee mug and then that cute um, coffee stamp. A few more stamps. I don't put a whole lot on these pages because I never know how much I'm gonna to need to write in them. And then my calendar page. In the calendar page, I did some fussy cutting. Um, there's some die cuts that I added on here. I layered them with a little bit of foam adhesive. There's a few rub-ons. Um, there's a few stickers from the sticker kit as well. And then just a little bit of stamping. And then always a few little glitter dots. <laughs> I love that little daisy, it's so, so, so cute. And then the back, again, just a few die cuts and then a rub on. This is one of the dashboards. One of the fun things I did with the dashboard here is I added some rub ons. So I kind of made the bouquet a little bit bigger. I added some rub ons. I did a little bit of stamping on here. And then I added a couple of die cuts as well. And then a few of the glitter dots just to kind of make that bouquet even bigger. And then when you get your um, when you get your set of pages, you'll get the first page will look like this. Um, I cover that up because your pages are meant to be used as a spread like this. So you have a two page spread for each day. So you can write uh, notes on here. You can write generally when I'm on the phone. I always or in a meeting. I, I think of things and then I jot them down. So I, I have plenty of space to do that there. Some people use this as a gratitude spot. They'll write a daily gratitude there, which is nice as well. And then you have, um, you, I do my daily to-do list here. And these are stamped on here. So they, when you get them, they do not have these headers. You can totally customize how you wanna use each section. So we're gonna flip back to here though. I'm gonna show you some of the fun things that I added in here. I loved this tag or this um, four by six card. I changed it into a tag. And then um, this was a four by six card as well. So I sandwiched those together. I added um, a little bit of a fuss, I fussy cut that out of the printables and added it on there. One of the little puffy daisies and then some ring reinforcers there. This is one of the uh, Traveler's Notebook memory keeping cards and I absolutely love this color combination. So I took that and then I added one of the printables, kind of my goals for September. There's some chipboard on there, some of the puffy alphas, and I just layered it on some of that pretty um, uh, floral pattern paper. And I like the different size layers. I always love to do that, to have different layers in my planner. It just kind of makes it interesting and fun. And then I made a pocket, and I always make a pocket to hold my stickers so they're nice and handy. And then I added one of the little puffy daisies on there and one of uh, the note cards from the um, Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And then the little bird, that is um, one of the puffy stickers back from January that I had turned into a clip. And again, I thought the, it was whimsical and it went really well with the kit. So I just kind of tucked him in there with one of those fun little cards. I added this die cut of the little daisies and then I keep my stickers in there and then something else I wanted to show you. So rather than go through and stamp, because this is now a stamp, we don't have the hydrate glasses on the daily pages anymore. We wanted to make more room for, um, for you to write notes and uh, to, on your to-do list and so on. So what we did is we included it in the stamp set and 
I was stamping it every day on this side, but I thought, you know, I'd like to just kind of try something different. So I created a couple of different ones to show you. So there's different versions here. And so this is one of the, um, the smaller dashboards. These are both um, Traveler's Notebook memory keeping cards. So if you don't, if you have them, if you get the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit and you have some of these left, you didn't use them all, this is another way that you can use those or the smaller um, dashboards as well. Or you could even do it with the tags. You could just cut it out of pattern paper. So there's a lot of different ways that you could um, use these. You could also, if you don't know what to do with the stripe pages, you could also use these that way as well. You could cut them in half and you get two, or you could just cut it down and have a thinner one or use it full size, but you can use it as a hydration insert. So what I did is I stamped that on there and then I just added day of the week stickers. So you can see where I did that. I did stickers on these and then this actually had the days of the week already on it. And so I didn't have to add, I could go back and add some cute stickers or some stamping on there. But then you have these and you can tuck them in um, the pocket of your planner or like this one where I put the, um, the holes in it, you can put it in the rings and then that way you can keep track of your hydration and make sure you're drinking your water. So, put that back in there. And then, I again, I took two of these tags. I thought they were beautiful. I sandwiched them together and just glued them together with some adhesive. And then I added the sticky notes. Uh, so I have some, I didn't add all of them. It kind of cuts down on bulk if I just do a few at a time. And I tucked them on there. I added a few of the little glitter dots on there and then just a pretty piece of the striped ribbon. And then we're gonna go flip through. So those are all my daily pages. And then I added another, um, just to show you another way of using the divider, the overlay, I added that in there. And then again, here's another idea for the stripe pages because some people are kind of stumped on how to use those. I cut it down and I just used it as a decorative piece of paper. Just, it's so pretty. The colors are so gorgeous. The artwork is so pretty. Why not just cut it down and use it as actual patterned paper? So that's what I did here. I just backed one of the printables that I have um, one of my to-do lists on, did a little stamping, some rub-ons, and a few of the glitter dots, and I have a custom piece of patterned paper or a little sheet, a note card. You could do all kinds of different things with that. I added some die cuts, rub-ons, stamping, everything. There's stickers on it. There's a little bit of everything on this sheet. And then another one of the dashboards. And this one, the um, I, love, I love how our glitter dots and, well, frankly, all of it, just the, the cohesiveness of all of the colors just always just makes me so happy. It makes putting together your planner so so simple and so easy and the glitter dots all match these colors so it was fun to just kind of place them in the sections that have the same colors and then I added a little bit of stamping on there as well and then this paper uh, if you sign up for our emails every month we send out an exclusive pattern paper and you just get that right in your email and you download it right from there and this was the one for September so if you're not signed up for our emails make sure you do and every month you'll get a free um, a free printable of pattern paper so that's what that paper is from and then I did a little stamping some rub-ons and again another list that's my monthly stuff reminder and then my dividers and these are the dashboards I added a little card on that one. And these are the smaller dashboards and I used it um, just as dividers. So as subdividers in that one section. And I, I don't really uh, decorate those a whole lot. Sometimes mid month I may play a little, um, but I usually don't start out with them decorated real heavily. And then in this section, this is my personal notes section. I took a, I had an extra, I think it was a damaged one that I took apart. Um, this is a B6 Dory booklet. 
And what I did, sometimes I need something larger for lists um, rather than just my notepad. So I like to have some of these handy and I'll just take whatever we have left or something that's damaged or just maybe the cover got crinkled or whatever, or we have one left, I'll take whatever. So it can be any size Dory booklet. I don't mind as long as it's a little bit bigger. And then I just take the booklet apart and cut it, um, cut the pages down and then uh, hole punch them. And then I have um, just paper for lists. And then this one, I added another one of the little cards on there. And then again, another one of those heavy acrylic sheets. And then this was a, a pen holder from, I think it was probably a couple years ago now. I just, I thought it went pretty well. And so I added that so that it holds my highlighter. So that is my setup. Oh, and the pen this month is this beautiful, it's got that same little doodly vine with the black crystals and the black hardware and then the little daisy on top. That is the pen this month. And then I showed you the stamp set. Oh, the washi tape. We had some beautiful washi tape. And if you watch it, if you want to see everything that's in all of the kits, if you go to our YouTube channel, you'll see all of my unboxing videos. So if you're wondering what's included with each kit and you want a little bit of a closer up view, go ahead and watch all of the um, unboxings. As well as I do a stamping video every month where I take all of the stamps from that collection and I give you some ideas on how to layer them and use them together. Um, so that's always a fun thing too. So make sure you check that out as well. And then the pouch. I, I love, we did these for August as well, this kind of canvas, and I absolutely love it. I think it's just got a, a, a really neat natural feel and look to it. And then we added this beautiful saying and that um, my favorite leaf or vine on there and then our little logo on the side. So I love how the pouch turned out as well. So that is a little look at my setup for September using the Doodles and Dashes collection. And um, I'm just, like I said, I'm already in this. I'm loving it. And I know a lot of you are excited about it as well. It's pretty much all sold out. There may be a few little bits left in the store. I think there's a few inserts. Um, and of course there's that printable if you wanna purchase that. If you don't subscribe, you can get that as well. And then my next project is, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna show you this real quick a minute. So I have the, I have some of the inserts from the classic vertical inserts that we sell, and I'm gonna use them in my daisy planner. So I'm gonna actually cover the front, and then I'm actually gonna cover the calendar. Oops, other way, this way. And I'm gonna, you just have to cut them down just a teeny bit to get them fit. I'm gonna glue them on there and then I'm gonna put them in there and decorate it. So I'll have that as well. And I'll make sure I share a picture with you um, for that. So that's what I'm, I've started to do. I did that for August and I really like being able to use those um, classic vertical inserts in my daisy planner and uh, dress it up every month to match. It's really kind of fun to do that. So thank you all so much. I hope you're enjoying this kit as much as I am. 